wing, Jason Richardson fires for three. Here's Kid Gilchrist. Battles through traffic and lays it in. And that put back about as easy a bucket as you're going to get. Exactly what happens when you don't box out, Greg. Rose dishes to Gasol. From 12 feet out. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Gasol's got the lead up to 10 now for Chicago. There's been some slippage defensively here in the second half, Kevin. I mean, I'm not sure if their legs are going or what, but they've given up some easy baskets here. And here's the fast break. Rose leading the way. Shots good from Butler. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we could see right there why he does. sideline with Doris Burke over that last break Kevin I got a chance to hear what head coach of the Hornets said to his team he was emphatic we're not getting it done fellas we've simply got to step up get engaged and try to battle back guys we'll see if the pep talk gets them going thanks Doris and the Hornets making a change here but Tombs checked in Walker's shot is off and that'll increase their rebound advantage they've definitely been winning that battle on the boards you know what? No rebounds, no rings, and they've controlled the boards, and that's what's given them control of this game. Back to Jefferson. Shot from 12. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Rose passes to Freak. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Some good numbers for Freak. He has 12 points, and he's getting it done on the glass, too. You're right, Clark. He's done some real nice work on the inside. Let's tighten up, all right? Let's get a stop on this one. And both free throws good from Freak. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. And Walker kicks to Jefferson. With the shot. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Jefferson's got four this quarter. Well executed possession. They controlled the shot. Nicely done. Stolen by Rose. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. Freak with the ball. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And you can tell that pass just hung in the air for a long time. Yeah, exactly. Long enough for him to get a hand on it and knock it out of play. Here's Freak. To the wing right side. Miritich dishes to Freak. Connects from three-point range. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. And out of bounds as Chicago gains possession. And, and you know what? His mind's playing tricks on him right now because he's not going to live that one down easily. One thirty-one left to play here in the fourth. And, and so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Bulls. Clark, look at their number of assists. Well, they minimized the one-on-one -on -one situations, Kevin. They got the ball moving, and it found the open guy. Great ball movement. You're right. And for the year now, they'll ramp up their win total to an even 40. They were really smart in the use of that game plan tonight. Used it in their first two games against this team, which equaled to two wins. Greg, if it ain't broke, why fix it? I mean, why change anything? Knowing how well they played in those two games, they probably couldn't wait for this one to wrap up the sweep of the season series. Just a quality win, and, and you look at the box score and some really good numbers for Freak. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really... And so Chicago takes this one, and... Joe Kim. The 2K Sports Post Game Show.
Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, Freak. It was a stupendous night for him from long range. Having him out there on the perimeter took a lot of heat off their guys inside, and it gave them room to operate in the paint. That was Freak turning up the volume right there, baby, all the way up to 11, and the stereo only goes to 10, Ernie, but we're at 11 right now. The man himself may be quiet, but his performance spoke very loudly. And that'll do it for our broadcast tonight. Hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, for me and, and Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal, and Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew, have a wonderful evening.